Good morning. Today we're here at Aldi. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. What do you need? Quarter? I need money. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Especially kind of looking around, seeing if they actually have stuff in here today, because all the stores, Kroger, Meyer, are pretty wiped out. It's more full than I've ever seen. Yeah, it does. I, yeah, I know. It's funny. It does look more full. $1.29 for the saltines. These went up a few weeks ago. At least I got them in, though. Do they got the Benton's cookies? Somebody was asking about those, said they haven't had them in a while. Two twenty-five there for the Oreo style ones. Yeah, two twenty-five. They were a dollar seventy-five. They went up to a dollar ninety-nine. Now they are two twenty-five. Everything just keeps going up. One thing is for sure, they are loaded down on cookies. Yeah. <laughs> they really are. These vanilla wafers went up though. They were two dollars and fifteen cents. Now two dollars and twenty-nine cents. Oh boy, dollar sixty-nine was the fudge cookies. They went up to a dollar seventy-nine in in three weeks. Dollar ninety-five. Now I know people have been saying these are going to be going up. They sure have. Uh, the peanut butter ones are still a dollar sixty-nine, so that's good. Two nineteen still for the fig bars. These were a dollar ninety-five, uh, but they were two nineteen the last time we were here. More importantly, they're getting them back in. We got some comments on those. So they are stacking up the bread over there. They it does look like they got some in. But they're putting it away, so I don't want it. But it is fairly low. Uh, notice that the muffins went up again. These were $3.49, went up to $3.59, now $3.89. That is crazy. What you got there? What is this? I don't know. That looks pretty, is this pretty the awesome. Is the same thing that I get? It might be. Oh, yeah. Look, it's just shaped like a tree. Oh, so I more see. Expensive. Yeah, but is it as much? It looks like there's more, though. This is 19 point four. What are these? This are one is 14 ounces. 14 ounces. This is what, 439 still? 439. I'm gonna try these peanut butter wafers. Haven't 445. seen 445. 445 now. They were 439. Uh or no, wait, no, these were 445. It's the other one that's 439. Uh, oh, I thought we tried these. Did we try these? I think you liked them. Yeah. I haven't seen these in I don't know yeah. how long. They taste but very similar to just the original kind. Yeah. I feel like if I didn't like them, I wouldn't want to try them again. <laughs> Looks like the cantaloupes went up here. two ninety five. These were $1.95 not that long ago. Um, they do have this uh, Caracara oranges here. four forty nine for three pounds. These are up too. These were three ninety nine. dollars uh, Looks like pineapples are actually down a little bit with the Aldi Saver deal. $1.69. These were $1.95 there for a while. Looks like they got their cauliflower back in here. Uh, I will say this looks really fresh, really good. Uh, a lot better than the ones we've seen at some other stores. $2.79. Also, these have been a little over $3 in a lot of different stores now. So $2.79, a little bit of a better deal. What do you think of that lettuce? Which lettuce? The brown lettuce here. I wish it wasn't brown because yeah. I would like this shredded kind. Aldi is dealing with the same issue as pretty much everywhere else. These garden salads, look at this, $1.89 now. I remember when these were 98 cents just a little over a year ago. Somebody was asking about these calzones here. You know, they disappeared from here for a while too. Uh, they are still $2.49. They are getting them back in here. You may want to check again. Uh, and somebody also asked about the Panera soup. They have not had that at our Aldi for a little while. $2.89 here. On an Aldi saver deal down from 308. The baked potato. Right the baked potato, yeah. Ooh. All right, what's this one? This That's the same cheddar, thing. Cheddar. One. Oh, okay. Cheddar. Yeah. Looks like they have the sweet potatoes on an Aldi saver deal. Dollar seventy-seven a bag. How many pounds is that? Three pounds for the sweet potatoes. Uh, looks like they got the red potatoes in here. Three ninety-nine for a five-pound bag. That's pretty good. And they've got some baking potatoes here, five pound bag for three sixty nine. We've been seeing baking potatoes skyrocket again in price, and they have the five pound bags of the yellow potatoes, three ninety nine as well. Potatoes seem like they're going back up in price. Somebody asked us to check out the Berman's tomato ketchup here. Yes, I know a lot of people compare this to Heinz. It is a dollar seventy five. Uh, continues to go up in price. It was a dollar fifty nine. Went up to a dollar seven or sixty nine, and now a dollar seventy five. So it's gone up a little bit every couple weeks for the last month or so. 
Okay, so what's our idea behind this? We're going to make the Crescent Dogs again for New Year's. For New Year's, yeah. But we're going to make Skyline dip with them. So how much How much are the Aldi ones? $1.65. One, $1.65. And the Pillsbury was three twenty four. Boy, Pillsbury's going up everywhere. Three twenty nine at Kroger for Pillsbury, huh? So we got yeah. this. Yeah, we look. You know, we like the Bakehouse brand. Just saw something interesting here. One thing I will say: pretty much every store we've been going to, so they probably get it off. Of, yeah, so it's dull. But the lettuce has looked really good lately. One thing I noticed though: they are a dollar seventy nine, which is, you know, we've been seeing it everywhere for pretty expensive. Some of them over two dollars, some a dollar ninety nine. They are limiting people to two of them though. Two of them, that's uh, that's interesting. Not much on the Aldi Savers deal as far as their little section that they always have here. They do have the Dole Celery though for $1.39 a bag here. That's a pretty good deal, $1.39. Some places it's been up over $2. Saw it for uh, $1.69 at Meijer. Uh, they got bags of Brussels sprouts, one pound Brussels sprouts for $2.29, the Aldi Saver deal been a lot of comments on jelly and jams lately uh the main one being grape they do have their berry hill version here it is now 225 that is up from a dollar 95 uh but it is a 30 ounce jar of it there and they have the berry hill strawberry reserves right there 219 for those and 359 for the big thing of peanut butter aldi's kind of funny with raising and uh, like stuff a couple pennies and then you'll see it go down a few pennies I guess it depends on the contracts but they are loaded down on all these other butters that some of you guys have asked about like the hazelnut spread here $2.45 for that they also have the almond butter um, I know some people are saying they haven't been able to find this one $4.99 for that do you want some coffee? Yes. <laughs> just don't drink coffee look at this Colombian went up to $8.29 Got the regular classic roast, seven twenty nine. It's been that for a little while. Uh, some people were saying they haven't been able to find the Colombian. Um, it's always coming in here, and the price has been going up steadily over the last few months. Do have the instant coffee and the decaf? Somebody was asking about this. So the Beaumont, uh, it is three dollars and forty nine cents, and the Nescafe is hovering at six dollars and thirty two cents. It's been that for a while, and that brick of Cafe Bastello, three dollars and seventy six cents. I cannot believe this hasn't gone up. This is the 10 ounces to this. If you like Cafe Bastello, we get a lot of good comments on it. This is the place to buy it. So it looks like their pods have actually gone down in price. These were $4.29. All of these were $4.29 regular price. Now, the ground coffee's actually gone up to $4.89. $4.89. These were $4.59 after they were $4.29 for a while, too. Now they're $4.89. I don't know what's causing that. But uh, they do have the pumpkin spice here for four sixty nine. We got some comments on that back in November. Uh, they still got it in here. Look at this. What is this? Mocha mint. They have mocha mint and gingerbread. gingerbread. This one is huh? White chocolate. Now these are four twenty nine. Same price as what these used to be. Found a good deal on the Betty Crocker cookie mix. Jess, uh, people are always asking us if we're checking expiration dates. We are. This one expires in June. 2023 and we found a few back here that expire in october so good job jess does look like cooking oils are still the same price but look at this guys finally went up the flour 219 two dollars 19 cents it stayed a dollar 56 forever like i mean i'm surprised I, i'm not surprised to see it go up i'm surprised to see it go up so much two dollars 19 cents sugar is still two dollars and 75 cents but i don't know getting crazy even at Aldi that being said we are seeing quite a full Aldi here it's good to see that they, I mean they're loaded down um, got plenty of pet food here same prices got more of the bigger cans of cat food in 54 cents a can smaller ones here are 55 cents but we get better comments on these with cats than we do with these from from our viewers with their cats not cats personally <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they got plenty of the dry food in here, $5.99 for the nature being. Yeah, okay, here's the one for $2.65. I was going to say, I thought that was this at first. Uh, and they got plenty of cat litter. Got some dog food down here, the big bags. This didn't go up. This was $10.49 before, now it's $10.99. Yeah, good to see they're uh, getting some more food in here. This was $1.39 not that long ago. Uh, they are $1.59 now. Still cheaper than Pedigree. 
I did want to check. Yes, the Bakehouse Buttermilk Biscuits are still $1.45. We saw where this one I was talking about being confusing. We've seen, like, like this one here is $1.49. We saw these go up to $1.48 there for a little while, but they're back down to $1.45. And as you see here, the Grand's Pillsbury $2.98, which is still a little bit of a better price uh, than some of the uh, ones you find in the stores. Regular price at Kroger, two two. $3.29 for one at Kroger and $3.15 for one at Meyer. So people were saying that they haven't been able to find some of the pizzas they like at Aldi. Doesn't look like they're fully loaded at ours. I will say this used to extend right here. They've moved some stuff over. They do a pretty good job of packing things in here at our Aldi at least. Look at this one. Pepperoni and mozzarella flatbread. $5.29 for that. Some of these bigger pizzas did go up. We went over this uh, a little while ago. Some of them went from $6.99 to $7.49. Uh, this one, the Supreme, I haven't seen this one in a while. I mean, this huge pizza is definitely worth $7.99. I think this used to be $6.99. It's been a while. It's been about a year or better, though. We've been seeing fish prices kind of go up in the stores lately, and uh, we still see the salmon here. $8.49 a pound for the half slab here and the cuts here for $8.69 a pound. So Jess wanted to come over here to the here today gone tomorrow section. See what kind of sales we can find. I found a couple things here. Got some clearance on these Weathers Original German Creams. $1.74 for these. These are usually pretty expensive. Uh, yeah, see it says right here $3.48. $1.74 for these. That's a pretty good deal. Got the Tate's Bake Shop here cookies. Ginger Snap. I know somebody on the channel that would like these. Two dollars and sixty-two cents. It says was five twenty-five. That's pretty expensive for these, but two sixty-two. Yeah, that's all right. So they got some of these different julienne potatoes, cheesy scallop potatoes. Ninety-nine cents. The chef's covered. Got good comments on these for a dollar. You can't beat that. They do have some of their big cans of Campbell's cream of mushroom. <laughs> two eighty-four for that. That's a little pricey. Uh, still have these uh, chunky soups here uh, by Campbell's, two twenty-six. Um, looks like they got some jasmine ready rice and two dollars and thirty-three cents. We saw where these went up to two fifty-nine a bag at Kroger, two seventy-nine at Target, and not sure what they are at Meyer. We're gonna have to check. And they got some things. Uh, I guess they're not gonna sell anymore, or they get them in and then they just put them over here, not wanting to give them a dedicated space, which I can understand if you're not gonna sell it a lot. Five dollars at Aldi for these though. Well, they are name brand, but I don't know. This would be like regular price. This would be like six or seven dollars at Kroger. So, did you find anything? No. How's that candle smell? Very gross. <laughs> hey, they got these tags here. Ninety-nine cents. $99. How much are these usually? Dollar ninety-nine. Yeah, fifty percent off. Well, how many does this come with? Fifty count. Okay. Somebody had mentioned that they had gotten this uh, espresso maker from Aldi for Christmas. And I just saw it here, over here in the Christmas section. Looks like they got a little bit of a sale on it. $59.99 down from $79.99. I'm not a big espresso drinker, but I remember somebody mentioning this. Just wanted to point it out. So they definitely have some issues with some of their Aldi fine deals, I guess. It actually says down here, we apologize. But due to shipping delays, some advertised Aldi finds items may not be available for purchase. So, yeah, they must, because I've never seen that here before. Uh, it, you know, we had gone through that huge ice storm, snowstorm, so not surprised that some stuff is not coming in here. But overall, I'm happy to see that uh, the rest of Aldi here looks pretty full. Great deal on their different broths here. They've brought the prices down to 99 cents. 99 cents for four cups, basically. Because uh, these are usually, yeah, see, I got it scratched out here, $1.29. Brought them down to 99 cents, and that does include the reduced sodium, which we get the most comments on. So we are kind of limited on what we can do today. There are a lot of people shopping here today, <laughs> and they have like an army of people putting stuff away. Good to see that they're able to, they're doing a great job of stacking the shelves and making everything look great. Uh, one thing looks great. The 80% lean meat is down to $3.79 a pound, and the 73% lean, 73%, $2.79 a pound, 80%, $3.79 a pound. These are down 20 cents each a pound. They're chicken wings, which we've gotten a lot of good comments on, but they are $3.09 a pound. Now, we've seen where they started to go back up. We saw at Meyer this week, 
at least at our Meyer, they were $1.99 a pound, which is a pretty good deal, but we didn't see much. They do have a lot here, three oh nine a pound though. Um, they got the chicken leg quarters there, $1.19 a pound. Split chicken breast, $1.99 a pound. Chicken thighs, $2.39 a pound. That's, I don't know, is that the uh, skin on, bone in? Yeah, that's, I don't know, that's a bit much. Uh, boneless, family pack boneless chicken breast, so $2.49 a pound. That's not too bad. Ooh, chicken drumsticks, though, $2.29 a pound. Wow, that's up from $1.49 a pound. That's crazy. And actually, I must have been looking at the wrong one here because I guess this is not considered the family pack. I haven't seen the smaller ones here in a while. I got a little confused. They do have the family packs down here, and these are $1.49 a pound. But I'm looking on the tags here, and it actually says $1.29 a pound. So even a little cheaper. That's cool. Just kind of looking at some of the canned goods here. Uh, most of their har Happy Harvest vegetables are still 58 cents, but we're still finding some that are a little cheaper. Got the sweet corn here. These are 53 cents a can. It's a good deal. Some of the ones, some of the like the, the young peas here, they're 95 cents. They've been 95 cents for a while. Now these, the mixed vegetables, these were 72 cents. This is another funny one that I always talk about. They went up to 74 cents, so it's gone up two pennies. Uh, but they do have green beans here for 50 cents a can. Not bad. So good to see they still got some deals on these. Uh, they started this back before Thanksgiving, but most of them are still the same price. The important thing is that we're not seeing any major price increases on these right now. The Dakota beans here are still 76 cents a can. They still got the Great Northern beans, 72 cents a can. So we were looking at the butter, and they don't. The only one they have for 2.99 here is the Countryside Creamery. Countryside Creamery Spreadable Butter, that's $2.99, but the bricked, the block ones, the one pound packages here, are still $3.98, and they put a limit on them of six. $3.98 though, I know a lot of people were saying they were $2.99 in your Aldi's, we have not seen them for $2.99, they've been $3.98 throughout the holidays. We've been getting a lot of comments that Aldi eggs have gotten really expensive across the country. Look at this, ours are now 411 411 this is actually the highest price that we've seen on regular large eggs anywhere in the city here um, they've gotten expensive but they haven't uh, gone up over four dollars yet but i bet they will 411 here at aldi this is crazy with the whole egg situation well guys that was our trip to aldi got a few things got a couple little birthday things we got a lot of birthdays coming up this week yeah uh it's crazy christmas birthdays it's just ridiculous um but happy to do it uh, good to see all the products they have at Aldi. We were expecting after Meyer and Kroger, after the big snowstorm, uh, we thought it was going to be empty. Uh, we were happy to get some things that we needed. Uh, good to see some of the holiday items half off and stuff like that. Lots of price increases. I'm expecting more and more here in all the stores. I'm not surprised to see the eggs go up. I know everybody's been saying that all these eggs have gone up, but $4.11. That's Wait. ridiculous. We saw a lot of snacks go up again. We saw the flour go up. You know, we got to pay attention to these little things so that we can save money as we go to the stores. That's why we do this every day so that we can try and save you money uh, and save you gas. I noticed down the street, gas is up another 30 cents a gallon after coming down. So we're going to have to pay attention to that too. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. We hope you enjoyed it. With all that being said, we are out and always remember the adventure is out there. there. Thank you.